Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. How are you all? Fine, ma'am. Good evening, 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 ma'am. I'm fine, dear. Thank you so much. Please rename children. Some of you have not renamed. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, dear. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, children. Good evening. So so far we have completed addition and subtraction, where we have seen various tricks like left to right addition and subtraction. We have seen how to check our addition and subtraction using bjans all those things we have seen dot methods of addition and subtraction so yeah. complement usages all those things we have seen so today we are going to start our operation on multiplication yes. so there are many tricks on multiplications in vedic maths let's see one after the other today i am going to take you up only one simple trick but it has different cases what is that let us see so today we are going to see multiplication with 9 99 9 99 or 4 nines or whatever that means now whenever you are multiplying two numbers if one of the number is either 9 99 or 9 99 whatever it is if it's all nines then there is a very simple trick where we can do multiplication without using any multiplication tables you don't even need to know ninth table also even a child of class 2 who or class 1 who don't even know multiplication tables can do this multiplication because we are not using any multiplication here we will do multiplications without using multiplication tables and in that there are three basic cases what are those three basic cases first let us when the number of digits of both multiplicand and multiplier are same the second case when the number of digits of the multiplicand is less than that of the multiplier the third case when the number of digits of the multiplicand are more than that of the multiplier so these are the three cases what is this uh, repeat again the three cases i will explain i will show all the three cases one by one when i show you the screen first let me explain what is multiplicand and multiplier then i will show you in detail that just me let me go to the next screen i will explain that. now first of all tell me in any multiplication problem like this if i am saying if 14 into 9 is equals to 126 or if i say 15 into 7 is equals to 105 in this one of the number is said to be the multiplicand do you know this yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am and the other number is said to be the multiplicand no. multiplier and the result is said to be the product 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 are you all clear with this terms of multiplication what are those yes, multiplicand yes, multiplier yes, and the product yes ma'am so yes, ma whenever you are doing any multiplication in today's trick what are we going to see is we are going to see multiplications with 9 multiplications with 99 multiplications with 999 or whatever it is you can even use the trick which i'm going to tell you to multiply a number with if it is having 10 nines 20 nines how many ever nines it can be you can use one simple trick to multiply any bigger number where the multiplier is always 9 99 999 or whatever so ma'am can it be like 784 multiplied by 9999 yes 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 Why seven hundred and four? You can take a ten-digit number. You can multiply with a uh, nine number ending in nines. There are twenty times also. You can any bigger multiplication with this within seconds. Okay, ma'am. If it are simple numbers like if you are multiplying with ninety-nine or nine ninety-nine or four nines or five nines, you can do it hardly in ten seconds or fifteen seconds. Ma'am, even such bigger numbers you can do it in less than thirty seconds. Such easy. Ma'am, can I uh, give an example? Can we do like Nine hundred and nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine into five hundred four. Yes, that's right. We can do. We can do like, ma'am. We can do like nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine multiplied by nine thousand nine hundred. Yeah, that also you can do. That also you can. You can do anything. Okay, ma'am. So now, first, first thing to do that all you need to remember two basic points. One is 
what are the terms of a multiplication multiplier multiplicand and product these things you need to know and the second thing that you need to very importantly remember for using this trick is i have told you about bases in the very first class do you remember those children what yes, are bases yes. can anyone tell me what are bases sir can i tell yes bases are multiples of 10 and multiples of 10 multiples of 10 fine fine one second just give me a second Ma'am, just give me a second. Ten is a base of two and three, like that. Now, among this, is there any base? If it is there, which are bases? Ma'am, one thousand. Wow, one thousand, ma'am. One thousand. One thousand. Just now, you people said ten multiples. All these are ten multiples. No, ma'am. Ma'am, the ma'am, the hundred thousand ten thousand. Ma'am, the wait, 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 wait. Numbers like ten. Ma'am, the powers of ten. Ma'am, the powers good. of ten. Very good. Powers of ten are bases, not multiples of ten. All these are multiples of ten only. But all of these are not bases. Only ten. Ten into ten hundred. Hundred into ten thousand, thousand into ten ten thousand, ten thousand into ten one lakh. All this are called as bases. One crore like this, these yes. are bases. Or the simple way that you can remember is in the base, the leftmost digit should always be one, and remaining all digits should compulsorily be zeros. Then only you call them as bases. Ma'am, I told you, bases one. are called as the magic numbers also, magic numbers of Vedic math. Without these magic numbers of Vedic math, you don't have Vedic math at all. Complete Vedic math is defined by these magic numbers. So you should definitely are... remember this. One second, Puneet, please wait a while. You should always remember these magic numbers. And in this, there are other multiples of ten also, like four hundred, four thousand. These are called as working bases. But four fifty is never a base or working base. These both can be called as working bases or sub bases. how to use this i will tell you in further classes but as if now you just need to remember bases for today's class working bases and bases what is the difference mm. means in base numbers leftmost digit should always be one and remaining all should be zeros in the working bases the leftmost digit can be anything from 2 to 9 it can be 200 it can be 20000 it can be 50000 it can be 7 lakhs anything it can be the leftmost digit can be anything from 2 to 9 but remaining also definitely be zeros that is a working base this is neither a working base nor a base because it is not having all zeros so this is not a base when it is not a base definitely it can never be a working base okay so that way you need could be sub base No, it can never be sub base. Also, four fifty is not a sub base because first of all, working base will happen only when it is a base. Base should have all digits zero other than the leftmost digit as one. Now, whenever you multiply a base with two to nine any digits, you get a working base. Ma'am, uh, I think, ma'am, I think a sub base is something like four hundred or five hundred. Yeah, working base or sub base, both are same. You can call this as working base or sub base, both are same. So, ma'am, we can uh, tell that twenty is also the sub base. Yes, twenty is also a sub base, but four fifty is not a sub base. Five thousand one hundred is not a sub base. Why? All the digits should be zero, other than the leftmost. Are all the digits zero here? No, no. But there's so one can more can there. So, can never be a sub base. That there's is. one more there. Yes. So, if you multiply thousand with seven, that will be a working base. If you multiply this with nine, that will be a sub base. If you multiply this with three, that would be a sub base. But other than three, if I multiply this with thirteen, what happens? Now is this a working base? No. So that is why you should always this can never be the working base because you should multiply the bases from the digits two to nine only. Other than that, if you do multiply, it becomes a different number. Okay, clear? Now we have discussed two points. What are those? Multiplicand, multiplier, and product. The second point: basis of Vedic math. Now, if you are clear with this both, I can start explaining you the trick. Yes, ma'am. Clear. Yes, ma'am. Now, yes, let us see what is the basic problem that we generally get when you multiply numbers in conventional. When you want to multiply three forty-five with triple nine, 
in conventional medicine. Generally, how much time do you think you will take? Uh, one minute, minute or two, ma'am. Ma one minute. Okay. Approximately oh, one minute. Let's one yes. minute. Let us take ma one minute. Or ma still, if you are minutes. very fast, still if you are very fast, forty-five seconds. Yes. More than this, I mean, less than this, you can't take because why is it taking lot of time? First of all, you need to multiply each of the digits with nine. So you need to know multiplication table of nine. Second point, when you write them one below the other. and then when you start adding you have a lot of carry over isn't it so the two reasons is first you should apply the multiplication table then you should apply the carry over which both are lengthy process so this is a time taking because of this lengthy process and multiplication table well to avoid that we will first remove the usage of multiplication table second thing we will remove the usage of carry over addition when this both problems are removed automatically time will come down am i correct because of this both only the time is taking more that only if you remove no time taking process now let's what is the magic rule that's used for multiplication the magic rule is one less than one before what is the meaning of one less than one before means before number predecessor do you know the concept of predecessor all of you yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am ma before number by subtracting one from yes. a number you get the predecessor of it the same thing we are going to use that is the magic rule that we are going to apply this means one less than the existing value whatever the given number is there you should reduce one from it which means we are reducing the multiplicand by one to obtain the product how is that let us see. and while using this complete trick children always remember we consider in this complete product in this usage of complete trick whenever you get the nine forms you should consider that as the multiplier okay children when you multiply two numbers i told you one will be any number the other will be 999 or 999 nine forms that nine forms if you consider as multiplier that would be easy for you to understand of course 3 into 4 is same as 4 into 3 but i'm just telling you to avoid the confusion the first case so i think it was kunit who was asking ma'am tell me what are those cases when the number of digits in both the multiplicand and multiplier are same like for example if i multiplying numbers 5 into 9 15 into 9 155 into 999 among all this if you see in the first case and in the third case the number of digits in the multiplicand and the number of digits in the multiplier are same Am I correct, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. This is yes. having one digit. This is also one digit. This is having three digits. This is also having three digits. Now, in these cases, how can we apply this magic rule? Let us. See. This is the first case that we are going to learn. The second case will be the other. The third case will be the other. I'll show you one after that. So, when the number of digits, both the multiplicand and multiplier are same, how can we apply the rule? The rule is nothing but how will we get the product whatever you have multiplicand that you should reduce by one that means minus one you should you should find it before number you should find it what's the magic rule again magic rule is nothing but one less than one before so here we are applying the magic rule the magic rule is applied here multiplicand minus one one less than the multiplicand here is the magic rule. and the second part of the answer would be Base minus multiplicand, ma'am. How can we find the base? Yes. Always, whenever you want to apply. First, let me complete here. Please listen. This is a very important stage where I'm explaining. First, listen. I'll give a chance to ask all your doubts. Please listen. Whenever you want to apply this magic rule, children, the very important point that you need to remember, as I've told you, is just now I said in any multiplication. Nine ninety nine or nine nine nine, whatever the numbers are there, you consider them as multiplier. I say, and the base that we are going to use should be only for this. What is the base for nine children? Ten. Why? Ten. Why is it ten? Ten. Because ten is one zero and this ten. Because all the one digit numbers has ten as their base. And what is the base for ninety nine? Hundred. Hundred. And what is the base for nine nine nine? Thousand. Thousand. And what is the base for this number? 
हम टेन थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड मैम Very good, Vivek. What you are saying that is what I was about to explain. See, whenever you are using bigger number children, never be read them as hundred thousand, ten thousand. It may be confusing to you. Just see how many nines are there. Six nines are there. So the number which is a base for this would be one followed by six zeros. That's all. You should say that way. Ninety nine. What is the base? Hundred. It is easy to do. Nine ninety nine. Base is thousand. It is easy to do. Next, ten thousand. It is easy to do. But for bigger numbers, what will you do? How many nines are there? That many zeros you put, and before it one you. That's all. That way you can read the base easily, as Vivek was saying. Okay. So the two points that you need to always remember in this complete usage of the tricky children, we always find the base for the multipliers only. This you should remember. This is the first point. This is the first condition for using the trick. What is the first condition? Also understand difference between multiplier and multiplicand. Agreem, unmute. Yes, ma'am. What is this number? Ma'am, six hundred and thirty-two. What is this called? Multiplicand. Okay. Okay, fine. That also you don't remember. I'll give you still shortcut. For general numbers, you forget it. I will tell you one simple number. Now in this complete trick, agree or unmute. We are going to multiply either with nine, ninety-nine, nine ninety-nine, or whatever it is. So always remember, if I am multiplying three forty-five with nine nine nine, here whichever number is in nine forms that is multiplier. The other one is the multiplicand. Ma'am, if there is nine 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 multiplied by three forty-five, then then also nine 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 is only multiplier. Okay. Either if it is three forty-five into nine nine nine. Or if it is nine 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 into nine five three forty five, however it is, this is always the multiplier. Ma'am, ma'am, how about uh, uh, I think multiplier is like we write below and ma'am. Uh, it's not necessary, dear. Listen, when three into four, multiplication doesn't four change. Two. Yes, very good. Multiplication doesn't four change. Four is same as four into. Nine ninety nine or nine ninety nine, whatever it is, that is called multiplier. How many nines are there? 
that basis only you get the base value. See here. I'll show you a simple number. 358, we are multiplying with 999. What is the product answer? The product will have two parts. This is the left side one and this is the right side one. In the left side, whatever the multiplicand is there, that minus one you should do. So that is 358 minus one we should do. What should we do? 358 minus one. So here multiplier is triple nine. So the base is thousand. This is a very, very important point to remember. First, you should be able to identify the base. The second step is 358. Whatever the multiplicand is there, but you should reduce by one. 358 minus one. And the second part is base minus multiplicand. Thousand minus, what is the multiplicand? 358. Now, 358 minus one is very easy for you. Why? It is just a predecessor. You can orally write. And this one, is it time taking or easy children? Ma'am, time taking. Why? Ma'am, it is easy, ma'am. Okay. Who said? Fine. Who said easy? I come back to you later. One second. Ma'am, it's all by Ma'am, it's all by Last by 10. All of you mute. Who said it was difficult, time taking? Agrim? No, ma'am. Who said, who said it's time taking? I just want to know a trick from them. I will just give a trick for them. That is why I'm telling. Who is that? Ma'am, we can use all by nine, last by ten. Yes. yes so is it time taking? No. Ma no. When you have learned the trick all from nine, last from them, last from ten, why is this time taking? This also can be given orally. If you have practiced it, here it would have been easy. If you haven't practiced there, no one can help you here. That is why I tell you, whenever the tricks are being taught, please practice them. Ma'am, 9643 from all to 9 and uh, last from 10. Trick I have done. Okay. 9? What is the answer you got? Ma'am, 9643. 5643? No. 9643. No. It's 642. Ma'am, the answer is 642. Very good. Very good. Excellent. He said 642. How did 9 come from? There are only three digits, 9 minus 3, 9 minus 5, 10 minus 8. So, 6, 4, 2 is the answer. So, see here, the left part, what will you get? 357. And the right part, 6, 4, 2. Together, if you put, you get the answer. Let me give you one more example. See here. Like if I am multiplying... Sixty-nine with ninety-one. What will I do? First, I'm seeing whether my multiplicand and multiplier are having same digits. Yes, very good. And basing on the multiplier, I pick my base. What is my base? Hundred. Now I start doing my multiplication. What is the product of this? Sixty-nine minus one sixty-eight. My left part has come, and my right part. What is the base? Hundred minus the multiplicand, which is sixty-nine. So. 68 is my left part clear. And my right part, what will I do? Hattie. All from 9, last from 10. Hattie. 9 minus 6, 3. 10 minus 9, 1. Now tell me, how much time did you need to take this type of question? Less than 10 seconds at the most. At the most. Ma'am, 10 to 15 seconds. Now see. Yes, yes. Now I didn't understood. I'm telling you again. Ruchi, unmute and keep. Okay, tell me, Ruchi, what is the left part? Uh, Ma'am, uh, ma the left part is 730, uh, 7,320. Okay, and what is the right part should I do? What, ma'am? On the right part, what should I do here? Ma'am, we should um, write the base here. What is the base here? Uh, ma'am, it's one second. Ma'am, ma 10,000. Okay. 10,000 minus what should I do? Ma'am, uh, ma 720. 720, where did it come from? Uh, 721. Where is 721? Ma'am, the multiplier. Where is the multiplier? Multiplier is 9999. 
Or is multiplicand? Multiplicand is seven thousand three twenty one. Where is it seven twenty one? Mom, I said seven thousand three hundred twenty. Why is it seven thousand three hundred and twenty? Is a multiplicand seven thousand three hundred and twenty or seven thousand three hundred and twenty one? Mom's seven thousand three hundred twenty one. Ah, that you should tell. That is what I am waiting for. Seven thousand three hundred and twenty one is a multiplicand, not this. This what did you do? Multiplicand minus one you did. But I am not asking to use the minus one part. You should use the multiplicand directly. Okay. Okay, mom. Ah, now tell me. Ten thousand minus seven three two one. How much will it be? Mom, seven. Ah, uh, one second, mom. I am calculating. Which um, class are you, Ruchi? Mom, fourth. Fourth. Okay, I can read it orally. Okay, I can read it. Answer, please wait. Answer, please wait. I'll give you a chance. Yes, yes Ruchi. All front yes, line, last front line. Do it directly. Yes, mom. I am telling the answer one second, mom. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, uh, Ansel, give me the answer, dear. The answer is two six seven nine. What is it? Two What? six seven nine. Two Very. six seven nine. It's two six seven nine. So this is how you need to get the answer. Okay. Is it clear, children? Yes. So yes. when we are asked for a doubt, and if we are not able to answer it, and if you leave the meeting, who is going to lose it? If you are not able to answer, please speak out so that I'll explain again. But do not leave the meeting. If you leave the meeting by not answering the question, loss is to you, children, not for us. Can you do one trick like nine 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 multiply eighty eight? Ma'am, I, I, I will do. I will do. Ma'am, yes, we may. Ma'am, I uh, think X. here. Ma'am, I think here the nine 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 doesn't even matter. X. Nine 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 doesn't matter. Yes, ma'am. Why? It, because it should be there in the problem, but we are only doing the working out by the other number. Yes, yes. But nine 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 always matters because from this only we are picking the base. Excuse me, ma'am. But, but in a problem. One second. Ma'am, can I answer? Please wait. Please wait. Please maintain basic discipline, children. When one person is speaking, it's a basic manners that the other should wait for the person to complete his speaking. So it's a basic manners. Like for example, in your home, if your mama, papa are speaking, when you they both are speaking, will you go and interrupt them directly? Does it make any manners? So please try and understand. You all are kids, and you all are equally important to you. When one is speaking, please wait for a second. The moment he ends its words, you can start it. Okay. So yes, dear, you are perfectly correct. We are no way using this number in the calculation, but to start the calculation, we need to know the base. And to know the base, we should always this number. That's it. The use of this number is only to find the base and nothing else. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Now tell us. Now who was that? Want to tell the answer. Yes, guys. And who was that? Someone want to speak out? Yes, dear. Who was that? I think it was. Uh, No, I'm not. 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 I'm Ma'am, the answer will be six five eight eight nine three four one zero. Yes, perfectly said. So this will be six five eight nine, and the remaining will, be, and the remaining will be three four one zero. That way you need me to solve. Now tell me how many of you still feel it difficult to solve it? Please unmute, children. I will explain you again. Whoever is having a doubt, unmute or raise your hand first. Please raise your hand. I will explain it again. The others can solve the question on the screen. Anyone who is in with our guest Priyanshi and that's yes, Priyanshi, speak out. Ma'am, uh, is this method in the book? 
Yes, of course. Wait. Okay, fine. Okay. Ma'am, yes, Darsh, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, like, uh, if there is a number 545, so its base will be? No. Why are you no. looking base Why for 545? What, what is a multiplier? Tell me. Tell me. Ma'am, uh, so ma'am, now you're teaching us with with only the nine, right? No, I'm teaching. No, with, I'm teaching with only nine. Like ma'am, the multiplier should be nine. No, it should be not nine. It should be, it should be, not, be nine. Ninety nine, nine ninety nine, or anything. It should be all nine forms. Okay, ma'am. So ma'am, uh, let's take nine thousand nine, uh, ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Okay. In this case, in this case, first of all, first of listen, all, listen. Let me speak out. Here, for example, if your question is like this, 99,999. Here, will you observe that the multiplicand is having less digits than the multiplier? This is a case two. When I go when for I case go, two, I will explain that. that. I will explain that. But first, okay, we are seeing the method where both are having the same number of so ma'am, now we have to, uh, so ma'am, the base of uh, 99,999 is one lakh, right? Yes, perfect. Yes, perfect. So ma'am, now we have to uh, uh, like from now uh, one uh, now the number is sixty one thousand five hundred and forty five. So we should minus one, right? Yes, yes, yes. Then it will become six sixty one thousand five hundred and forty four. Okay, and the right part? And the right part? And then ma'am, uh, it is one lakh one lakh minus sixty one thousand five hundred and forty four. Tell me, all ma'am, I uh, to. All from nine, last from ten. Uh, yes, ma'am. One minute, ma'am. One lakh. You don't even need to write children. Listen, children. Listen, ma'am, I'm not writing, ma'am. No, no, no. Not even that. I'm telling for everyone. It's not necessary yeah. that you should always write this step, children. Directly also you can say by looking at the multiplier. Was well, I multiplicand? How? All from nine, last from ten. Six minus nine minus six, three. Nine minus one, eight. Nine minus five, four. Nine minus four, five. 10 minus 5, 5. That way you can orally say. Ma'am, my answer is correct. Ma'am, yes, can you tell the answer for please 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 Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, dear. Pranit, can you tell the answer? Yes, Pranit. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma'am, the answer is. Uh, you continue, very continue. Big number. Ma'am, it's a very big number. Ma'am, it's is four zero. You don't read it. Ah, yes. That way you read it by digits. Good. Ma'am, four zero six zero one nine five nine three nine eight zero. Nine seven one zero nine seven one zero. Nine seven nine 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 eight zero. Eight zero is correct. Ma'am, two nine three nine eight zero. Perfect. Perfect. Whoever is said 8 0 is not correct. 7 is not correct. Yeah, answer. One second. 7 1 0 is not correct. Let me explain you why is 7 1 0 not correct. Now, here when you subtract the last two digits, that is 2 and 0, what do you get? 9 minus 2 is 7 you got. And 10 minus 0 is 10 you got. Ma'am, it so should be 5 write... 9. Come again? 9 8 0. Come again. I'm talking about this last two digits here. Nine no, ma'am. In the two, sum, seven. it should be 593980. Okay. Ma'am, it won't come 71 first. When you multiply, when you minus uh, uh, 406020 from 1000000, that time you will wait, always get wait, an even number. Wait. Just give me a second. Give me a second. All of you mute. All of you mute. Let me speak. Now see here. Now this is the number. All from 9, last from 10. So all these digits will go from 9. And only this one will go from 10. Correct? Now start doing 9 minus 4, 5. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 6, 3. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 2, 7. And 10 minus 0 is 10. So how can you write 10 here? You should always write a digit over there. When you have 10 in this part, you should take this one carry over here and make it as 593980. This is one way of doing. Or if you don't want to do this method, the other way of doing is 
this number is ending in zero and in the value c both are ending in zero so you can remove this zero part and you can do the solving at last and you can do which is confusing so whenever last from 10 if you are doing and you are getting 10 when you are doing all last from 10 and if you are getting 10 as the answer take this extra one as a carry forward to the 7 it becomes 79 as 80 that way excuse me ma'am yes ma'am in this answer you have written 4060192939800 but it should be 593980 ma'am me also answer okay 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 just give me a second ma'am me yes. also yeah yeah just let me correct it one second just give me a second okay it should be 59 correct yes you are absolutely correct here it's 59 okay oh, now it's clear So here is the first question. Please mute, and the person whom I ask will unmute to speak out. Okay. Otherwise, give the answer for this question. Ma'am, the answer is eight eight one one eight thousand one one. Perfectly said. Very eight thousand eight hundred eleven. So were you able to do it orally, children? Can you wait? Yes. Yeah. Give me time. Can yes, you wait, please? Yes. I need to solve it, please. Yes, please. You can solve it. I'm not running out with the screen. The screen will be all over there only. The moment I get at least eighty percent of the answers in the chat box, then only I go to the next question. Yes. Ma'am, four one one five eight eight. Yes, I'm asking you the answer for the second one. Ma'am, eight eight. Yes, I'm asking. Yes, ma'am. Four one one five eight eight. Four one one five eight eight. Very good. Perfectly said. You are right. Absolutely correct answer. I think uh, there is some mistaken answer on the screen. Just give me a second. Okay, I think this no, was. Advice. Correct. We need to check his answer. Advice. Check I your answer. Answer 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 this answer is correct. That's on screen. I corrected it, ma'am. Please mute. Please mute. And here is a third question. And today, I am very happy that you people understood the things very easily and you are answering it. But very bad thing to say. The class is completely indisciplined. Pranav, give the answer for the third question. Yes. Ma'am. Yes, Supradeep. Ma'am, may I tell the answer? Wait. Pranav is answering. I'll give you the fourth question. Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. Ma'am, seven seven zero zero nine two nine eight zero. No, nine zero. Nine two. Ma'am, seven zero zero nine two nine nine zero. Perfect. Now you are correct. Seven double zero nine two double nine zero. Yes, you are absolutely correct. Very good answer. And here is the next question. Supradeep, answer the question on the screen. Yes, Vivan, yes, Agnim, Bidisha, Ame, Darsh, Bani, Vivek, Advait, Samart. Very good answers, all of you. Pranil, Priyanshi. Very good, children. Very good, all of you. Unshi, all of your answers are perfectly correct on this chat box. Very good. Answer. I give you the next question, Samar. Just please wait. Ma'am. Yes. Ma, a bit, ma'am, wait, ma'am. Please. Yes, ma'am. The answer is five zero five nine nine four nine four zero zero. Yes, perfectly said. Absolutely correct answer, dear. It's five zero five nine nine and four nine, and what is the other thing that you get? Uh, for yes, for correct. You are right. Four nine four zero zero. Perfectly right. So you are right. It's on the screen, so you are correct. So that is the way you need to do this. Otherwise, please check your answer. You made it as three nine nine. No, it's not three nine nine. So now we will see the second case when the multiplicand. Yes, Advait. You too, Advait Pandey. Okay. So now we will see the second case where the multiplicand has less digits than multiplicand. Like if I want to multiply thirteen with nine ninety nine, if I want to multiply four fifty six with nine 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 nine, if I want to multiply eighteen with nine 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 nine, all these cases. If you observe, the number is having less digits than the nine forms. That means. The multiplicand has less digits than the multiply. In this case, what can we do? Yes, 
Ma'am, uh, the practice question. What is the answer of last? Five zero five. Okay, I will write it. You can just write it out. Yes, twenty. Yes, yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Perfectly said. This is the answer for the last question again. Yes, yes. Ma'am. Is answer correct? As we did for last from all from nine, last from ten, the same way we should do. Ma'am, when you were the ma'am, ma'am, you should not come. Ma'am, you should not come in the tenth digit. It's zero in tenth. Oh, sorry, sorry. I mistaken zero. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's zero here. Yeah. It was my mistake. I just wrote it incorrectly. Okay, fine. Ma'am. Uh, yes. Ma'am, can you uh, do uh, one problem like nine 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 multiply by eight seven six? Ah uh, yes, you asked that question, isn't it? So nine 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 multiplied by eight seven six. So again, you consider this as a multiplicand, this as a multiplier. Now, what is the base here? Thousand. So eight seventy six minus one, eight seventy five, and all from nine, last from ten. If you do. Eight minus one, sorry, that nine minus eight, one, one. nine minus seven, two, two six, four. four. That's it. Eight, seven, four, Method is same. Whether the number is this side or that side, the base should be applied for nine forms only. That's all. The remaining is the multiplication. Okay, ma'am. So in this case, children, like I'm showing on the screen, in these cases, as we have done, whenever the multiplier, uh, I mean, multiplicand is having less digits, what will we do? We will put. Extra zeros to its left side to match the number of nines. Here there are three nines, so I'll put a zero extra here. Here there are six nines, so I'll put three zeros to this left side, this way. And here there are four nines, so I'll put two zeros to its left side. Now again, I can apply the rule. Am I correct? Let me show you with an example. Yes. So see here in the case in this type, we adjust the number of digits of the multiplicand. As that of the number of digits of the multiplier by putting extra zeros to the left of multiplicand. That's it. Now see here, two zero seven six is having four digits, but here we have five nines. Now how many digits are missing? One digit is missing. For that, I will put extra zero. Write one zero. Max, yes. you will write zero two zero seven six. Yes, that way we do, and. To the left part, you need not write children. Why? Because you are just doing one minus. Either you put zero, or you don't put zero. That doesn't matter. Only for this right part to subtract all from nine, last from ten, you just need to put extra zero. Here, if you put also nothing wrong. Here, if you put also nothing wrong, again you are going to get the same answer. Um, what about if the if there are less nines? I will tell. That is a third case. Okay. So here two zero seven five, and the right side part is. Nine seven nine two four. That's it, which gives you the final answer. The same logic you need to apply. Just the missing digits should be placed with zeros. That's it. Any doubt, children, so far? No, ma'am. Were you clear with this second case? Yes. All of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So fine. So you want the questions? Samar, here is your first question. So all the first questions, Samar. Is Samarth in the class? Samarth Goyal. Fine. Samarth is. Yes, please. Solve the first question. <coughs> so fast answers. Very good. Very good to see. Ma'am, answer is eight two zero nine one seven nine. Eight two zero nine. Come again. Eight two zero nine. One seven. One seven. What is the last digit? Nine. Said, ma nine. Okay. So you are perfectly correct. Eight two zero nine one seven nine. Perfectly said, dear. Next, the second question. Agreem, answer the second question. Okay, ma'am. I'll give the chance to others also, children. Please keep yourself muted. Yes, I'll give the chance to everyone. Three eight zero zero. Mm-hmm. Three eight zero zero. There are nine, uh, six nines on the screen, children. Someone who is looking through the mobile and you are not able to identify the number easily. I am reading out. There are six nines over here. Ma'am, three eight zero zero okay. nine nine three okay. six mm -hmm. one nine nine. Perfect. Perfectly said. 
वेरी गुड सो थ्री एट डबल जीरो डबल नाइन सिक्स वन डबल नाइन येस एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट पानी आंसर द थर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन ओके मैम जस्ट गिव मी अ फ्यू सेकंड्स यस प्लीज मैम व्हाट इज द नंबर ऑफ नाइन्स यस वी आर वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन यू आस्क सो देयर आर टोटली सेवन नाइन्स ऑन द स्क्रीन देयर आर सेवन नाइन्स ऑन द स्क्रीन Ma'am, the answer is eight yes, five nine mm -hmm. nine 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 one four zero. One four zero. Excellently said. Very good, Bani. Perfect answer. Ma'am, uh, 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 in the that question, uh, uh, before there are practical question of like when there are same numbers, uh, the last part I have don't understand in that. Which last part you didn't understand? Ma'am, uh, that answer is five zero five nine nine four nine four uh, zero zero. Okay, you didn't get answer for that question. I will show it to you. Let's uh, at the end of the class, I'll show you because I need to go that many screens back. So you just need to wait. I'll show you that question again. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, fine. So very good. The answers on the screen, very nice. And here is the next part, which is we get the third case when. The multiplicand has more digits than multiplying. In this case, what type of questions will come? Let us see. So you get the questions like this: thirty-seven into nine, four five two, uh, four five two into ninety-nine, six three nine into nine 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 nine. Oh, sorry, sorry. Just a second. Just a second. I just will take. this type of questions you get in this case where the multiplicand wow. is having vivek please keep yourself muted this is not a manners of maintaining being uh, attending the class so this is how you get the questions in this case where the multiplicand is having more digits whereas the multiplier has less digits okay now let's see there is a small change in the formula or the rule that we are using what is the small change is the rule gets changed like this whatever the multiplicand you have children observe properly split the multiplicand into two parts you have to split the multiplicand into two parts and how should you split the two parts means you should make one as a left part and as a right part lp ma'am ma'am what is there an odd number of digits listen once listen it dear once if you don't even listen you are not even able to understand i told you to divide it into two parts did i tell you to divide into two equal parts no then have patience so you need to divide the number into two parts such that the right part has as many number of digits as the multiplier now for example the question on the screen if you see this is our multiplicand this i should make into two parts one is the left part lp the other is the right part rp now how many digits should be in lp and how many digits should be in rp that is the question Here and the, RP should be three nine and four zero six in LP. Yes. So here the RP should be as many digits as that of nines. Here there are two nines, so the RP should be the last two digits, which is three nine, and the remaining all would be the left LP. Like in this question thirty seven. In this there is one nine, so we get LP as three and RP as seven. And in this question. For example, if this question is something like this, in this we have three nines, so the RP would be five twenty one, and whereas the LP would be six hundred and four. So here the number of digits either even or odd doesn't matter. How many nines are there? That many rightmost digits will be the RP, and the remaining digits will be the LP. Now how will we find the product? See here, the product is found as Multiplicand minus one you used to do before. Multiplicand minus one, but here multiplicand minus LP plus one. You should increase this LP part plus one and subtract from the multiplicand, and the right part would be base minus R. Let me show you with example so that you can clearly understand. See here. Again here the base will be depending on nines only. Look at this. Here we have an example. Four eight seven two nine. Here, what is the multiplier? 
Here multiplier is three nine. Why? The base is thousand. So we get multiply. I mean multiplier is nine nine nine. So base is thousand. When the base is thousand, automatically here there are three nines. So the last three digits will become RP, and the remaining two digits will become LP. Now how will I find the product? See here. The product is multiplicand minus LP plus one. On the right side, base minus R. Forty nine subtracting from this is easy. Why? Because this is a bigger number and this is a smaller number. Where you have very few digits, and in most of these cases, children, you rarely get carry forward I mean, borrowing subtractions. If borrowing subtractions are also there, you can easily solve it from left to right subtraction, as I've taught you. So left to right subtraction will make you this calculation easy. So you get the left part of the answer as four eight six eight zero, and the right part again all from nine last from ten two seventy one. Then multiplying this bigger number with nine 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 and calculating this little part of calculation is much easier. If you are able to solve this complete problem in two minutes, you can solve this in less than thirty seconds. Still, your time is saved and your math thinking is reduced. Simple, just LP plus one subtract from the multiplicand, remaining base minus RP. Ma'am, I don't understand. Which part? Ma'am, whole. See here again. I'll explain. Now, for example, give me a number. Ma'am, uh, four nine six five four. Okay, into into nine nine. Okay, nine nine. What is LP here? Ma'am, four nine six. Very good. What is the RP here? Fifty four. Fifty four. What is the base here? Ma'am, hundred. Hundred. Very good. Now, what will be the first part? Ma'am. Four multiplicand four nine six five four. This is a multiplicand, isn't it? Before what you did, multiplicand minus one we did, correct? Yes, ma'am. But here multiplicand minus LP plus one you should do. What is the LP here? Ma'am four ninety six plus one four ninety seven. Yes, four ninety seven. So you should subtract the multiplicand and four ninety seven. Four ninety seven. And the right part is base minus RP. Before you used to do base minus multiplicand, but here we are doing base minus R. Forty-six. LP we are using for the left side, RP we are using for the right side. But LP one more we are doing to subtract, RP directly we are subtracting. Here you get forty-six, and this subtraction you can do it like this: left to right subtraction. I have got. See children, whoever has forgotten left to right subtraction, see here. You can easily do it. Four. Four. Nine. nine. I am not writing nine. Why? Okay, Maybe six minus four. Yes, I can write nine. Yes, nine. Nine and six minus four, two. Two. No, mm -hmm. I can't write two. Ma'am, we will write one because yes. five minus nine, fifteen minus nine six. Yes. We will not write. We will write five because four minus seven is could not. So, ma'am, fourteen minus seven seven. Yes. So very good. You are able to say everything. Then what is the something which you didn't understand? So, ma'am, answer should be four nine one five seven four six. Yes. Okay, ma'am. I'll show one more example, children. Still, if anyone is having it out, please raise your hands. So see here, we are multiplying such a bigger number two zero six zero eight one with double nine. Now here the base is hundred, so the right part will be eight one, and the remaining all will be the left part. Yes, we wait. Tell me, ma'am, I did not understand, ma'am. Which part? The part where you. I do it on the left side. I understood the right side. Okay, left side. Whatever the LP is, it that you should increase one. When you increase this one, what happens? Two thousand sixty-one. Two thousand sixty-one. Two thousand sixty-one. That yeah. you should subtract from the multiplicand. Yeah. Yeah. See here. Here also, what did we do? We had LP as forty-eight. This LP forty eight we increased by one and made it as forty nine first. This forty nine we are subtracting from the multiplicand. Before we did multiplicand minus one. Now what are we doing? Multiplicand minus LP plus one we are doing. That's all the difference. So ma'am, should we take the base of the right side number or left side number? Obviously, the base should be for. And why are you talking about the base for left side right side? Base is always based on this ninety nine, isn't it? What, ma'am? 
base is always based on this 99 99 has two digits so base is 100 okay ma'am good yes that tell me what is your doubt Does you have any doubt? No, ma'am. Priyanchi, yes, speak out. Ma'am, I didn't understand what to do with the RP side. Or... RP, we are subtracting from the base. Before, we used to subtract the multiplicand from the base. But now, we are subtracting RP from the base. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, we can do it orally also. Yes, you can do it. See here. This question only we will do orally. See here. Only the left part you need to just take a pencil if you are good. Otherwise, you can write it directly also. Like for example, see this 206081, this number minus 2061. I should do it. This I can directly write it out. I don't need uh, I don't need any calculation part. On the right side, if you just put two over this answer, what do we get? The right side answer is 19. That's all. Because this is the left part we got and the right part is direct answer. So we got 204020 and 919. Mama, Together, still, Mama, I still don't understand. Then what's the point in O? Oh, ah, so that. Tell me. Nothing. I just got it. Very good. Still, anybody is having doubt, children? So here is the first question. I want Pranil to solve this. Pranil, are you there? He's not unmuting. Okay. Vihan, can you solve this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. For those who are not able to solve, look at this, children. I will explain. So here there are two lines. So what would be the RP? 92. Yes. Then the left over LP would be 57. 57. And the base is? 100. Base is 100. Yes, perfect. Yes, we won. You can view the answer, final answer. You give me the final answer. For those who are not able to get, I'm explaining for them. You solve it and give me the final answer. Yes, Here, multiplicand, I should subtract from one more than LP. That is 5792 minus 58, I should. Again, I'll use the left to right subtraction. I will write it as 574. I'm not going to write. I'm writing it like this. On the right side part, which is this way, I will solve it easily. This would be my final answer. Ma'am, oh, Ma the answer is yes, 57308. 3408. Ma'am, 5793 should be because we will add 1. Where are we adding 1? Ma'am, we will add 51, uh, 51 plus 1. We will add. It's not 51, it's 57 plus 1, 58. Yes, we want to speak out. Ma'am, the answer is 5730408. 30408, how will it come? See here. The left part. I mean, ma'am. Ah, 3408, then you are correct. Yes, perfect answer in the chat box. Can you tell how to do this? What is the right part? 08, correct? Yes, ma'am. And left part, 5792 minus 58. Ma'am, right part is 92. Ah, 92. Base minus 92? Ma'am, 8. 8, 0, 8. Not 8, 0, 8. Zero. That is what mistakes in the chat box are also. Like, Uchi and all of you. Be careful, children. What the thing that you people are doing is, in the left part of this answer, you got 5, 7, 3, 4. And here, when you did 100 minus 92, you are making it as 8, which is completely incorrect. This is not a number. This is a part of a number. So you should always write it as 08, not 8. Ma'am, uh, 08. Ah. And ma'am, uh, how will we find the left part? Left part. Multiplicand minus one more than LP. So ma'am, 5792 minus 58. Ah, 58. Okay, ma'am. So this is a correct answer. Now, the second question is on the screen. Okay, let me give a chance to someone else. Bani, uh, Bani's chance is done. So, let me give someone else. Please do not mind here. I'll come back to you again. 
Vivan is also done. Okay. There are many in the beginning. Arjun, can you answer this question? Ananya, can you answer? Aditya? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yes, answer this, dear. I find many children, a few, not many, sorry to say, very few children never answer anything. They don't even unmute. They don't give it in chat box. Like Tassin, Ananya, Arnav, Naresh, Prayag, Pranav. I don't find your answers even in the chat box. Can I just know any specific reason? If you're not even giving the answers in the chat box, at least I hope that you are solving the things. Yes, ma'am, I'm solving in my paper. Yes, who is that? Ma'am Pranav. Pranav. Okay, good, good. No problem. If you are solving and if you are getting enough correct answers, that's more than enough. Oh, God. Sorry. Yes, correct answers, all of you in the chat box. Very good. Ad Advait, please check your last digit. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I multi I subtracted it by nine, nine instead ah, of ten. Yes, 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 that is fine. No problem, dear. It's not that you are supposed to give the answers fast, Ananya. I'm not making up any race over here. My just main intentions of you asking to give the answers in the chat box is to check to what extent you people are doing it right. By looking at the answer, I can justify whether it is a before question or the after question. I never ask, till now in the complete class, have I ever said this is the first person who gave the answer and it's very good and the others are not good? No, it's not a matter of how fast you gave the answer. You gave the answer or not is that important. Okay, ma'am. Yes, dear. Sure. It's nice to hear you. Yes, dear. What is the answer? Ansel, check your answer, please. Pranav, check your answer. Prayag, check your answer. Gayatri, check your answer. Akrim, check your answer. First send the answer, lead it. First send the answer once again. Yes, dear. Please tell me the answer. Oh, I'm just it's three eight five nine zero seven. Ma'am, ma oh, is yeah. this ma'am is it? six three eight five nine zero double seven is the correct answer. And the last question is. Ma'am, I'm please. getting the answer five three eight five nine seven seven. Why will you get? Please cross check the answer. Calculate the left part correctly. Yes, the last question. We are running out of time. Please make it fast, children. Uh, Ma'am, we already ran out of time. That's what I said. That's what I said. We already ran out of time. You you were saying we we already running out of time. Running. Okay. So still, but still we are continuing, isn't it? So I just mean to say at least you'll be forward with that. Okay, good, good, very nice. Good answer. Yes. Who would like to give answer this question? Advait, can you answer this? 506799. Okay, Bani, what is the answer? Ma'am, the answer is 4561029. 4561029. Yes, that is the correct answer. So, Advait, check your answer because you just made a small mistake in the subtraction. So, we got your left part incorrect. Ma'am, can you. you tell me how to do this? Four, five, six, one, zero, two, nine. Yeah, the right part is only just one, and the remaining all is the left part. So subtract that from the complete multiplicand. You just get the answer. Five zero six seven eight minus five zero six seven eight one. No, five zero six seven nine minus uh, seven eight one. LP should be more one. So LP is this part. 
five zero six seven eight. And if you add one to this, it becomes five zero six seven nine. That you should subtract. Okay, ma'am. Samarth, what is the answer for this last question? Samarth. Answer for the last question, please. Ma'am, I don't understand how you got the answer for the third question. Okay, I'll show you. See here, five zero six seven eight one is a multiplicand. From this, the left part is this one. This left part, when I add one, it becomes five zero six seven nine. Now you should subtract this both. Subtract it, you will get this number. And there are five. Ten minus one nine. That's it. I think you know left to right subtraction, correct? So this is five. I can't write it five four. So ten minus five five, and six minus zero six, and seven minus six one, eight minus seven one. I'm not writing one because I need to carry forward. Eleven minus nine two. The same is on the screen. So yes, ma'am. But you have an extra nine, ma'am. Where is extra nine? Ma'am, in four five six one zero two nine. Yes, dear. Nine. This is the RP part. Hundred minus the RP. I'm just telling the left side of the answer. On the right side of the answer is ten minus one. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse oh, me, yes. ma'am. Yes. The reason I'm not able to do it because you are one. You are doing so fast, and another that after you're doing fast, the answer is the answer is just in front of me. So I cannot do that. I couldn't get your point, uh, Priyanka. Come again, please. Ma'am, ma actually, I am unable to do the question because one, you you are just showing the answer, and it's I'm just it's just too fast. That's why. One second, Priyanka. The moment I give the answer on the screen, only when if I see more than eighty percent of the answers in the chat box. Second thing, first of all, if you answer on the screen, who said that you shouldn't do the problem? Tell me, is there any because reason if I give the, the answer? The, because the answer, answer is just in front of me. So, is there any rule that if the answer is in front of you, you shouldn't you should stop calculating? You finish your calculating, check the answer on the screen. There, your work is again done. Uh, well, it's because uh, my mind is that I'm attractive on the answer only. No problem. You may be attracted with the answer. Well and good. You're so small. I understand it. But even after being attracted, you just cross check whether you are getting the same answer or not. But I'm just in middle. How can I check it? Finish it and then cross check whether what answer is in your book is the same on the screen or not. That's it. I'm can you explain me? I'm telling you that I don't leave? understand. Yes, you can leave the class. The rest, let's meet in the next class. Tell me who's not bye understanding. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Can you the last question, please? Fourth. Ma'am, but I'm saying that I'm attractive. So, see, dear, dear, this last question, if you want to do, you just need to make this part as a LP, and you can increase it by one. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, first practice question, last one. You, I just show it. You have said me. I will just show you. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Let me go back to the last screen. So this question yes ma'am so what is the difficulty in this first tell me so you have as many digits as that of nines so the right listen listen the left part would be 50599 reduce one and the right side part all from nine last from 10 so 50599 
Bye, ma'am. Bye, dear. Bye. Ma'am, end the session, please. Um, please wait a minute. There is some technical error. Okay, fine. 